What's going on YouTube? Big Tuna here. I know it's been a long minute since I've posted any videos. Life kind of got in the way and I kind of got away from uh, doing some videos. So uh, hopefully I'm back and uh, posting more videos. Uh, purchased this uh, machine to do a side job, a pretty substantial sh uh, side job that it, uh, hopefully I'll get a chance to uh, post uh, my progression on that. Uh, but anyway, I need to do a big shout out to 57 Moto. Um, he gave me the idea of going out to Harbor Freight and buying this side chest and, and then build the uh, uh, custom welding cart around it. So that's what I've done. I really liked it. I've, I've looked at many, many videos on YouTube about uh, uh, custom welding carts and some ideas were like oh man that's a good idea and some of them were like not so much but uh, anyway um, this is what I come up with I'm here at uh, where I work at uh, this is why I fabbed up uh, this welding cart the base down there is thin wall tubing uh, one and a half by three uh, the rest of it is uh, eighth inch one by one tubing and then what you see here is um, embedment concrete studs uh, they're for uh, embedding uh, steel plates into concrete and i figured uh, i could put them to good use i drilled through both walls here and uh, then plug welded it on the back side so that gives it a nice clean look and uh, no welds i just got the frame back from powder coating and uh, i'm glad i did that uh moto or i'm excuse me uh 57 moto says man just just bite the bullet and do it that's what i've done and i'm extremely happy with it i'm glad i did um the uh mounting brackets i have down there i utilized the existing holes that were in the cabinet to mount it to another um u.s general cabinet so i didn't have to drill any holes or nothing like that and i thought they're there might as well use them but uh, I, I've got the big tank on here now, which is what I'm going to use. I've got a 25-foot um, hose there so I can pick up the machine and get it up into, into where I'm needing to go with it and then still leave the tank on the cart secured. Um, did the keyhole work myself. I don't know if you can see that being black. But uh, I was kind of afraid of not putting any uh, uh, additional supports out here to hold the tank. But as you can tell, it ain't going nowhere. So I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. Yes, it's a piece of cardboard down there. Um, I've got access some, to some conveyor belting, and I am definitely going to put a piece of conveyor belt down there. Either glue it down or use uh, um, elevator bucket bolts and bolt it down that way. But I am definitely going to do something there. I'm going to do something uh, in here as well, uh, just so it doesn't clang around and stuff. But... Uh, like I said, I figured I'd try to post this video here and um, uh, get me back into the game of uh, posting videos. Uh, these brackets here was a piece of tube that was four by six. And as you can tell, I cut them down um, into an L shape with a thin gusset here and then welded obviously in the back along with the tabs welded there. So, again, I just figured I would uh, show you what I've done. I like it. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, I almost screwed up and welded this on, and I was like, how am I going to get that um, chest drawer in there, or chest in there, without having to pick it up and set it inside? So, uh, through bolt into a tap block, and this handle can be removed, and I could take my... Uh, uh, tool cabinet out if I want to um, it works good. It looks like the handle hits, but it doesn't um, Really nice uh, nice quality cabinet from Harbor Freight. Um, I didn't know that they had them I don't venture off to Harbor Freight too much but I did because I seen the uh, 57 moto did and I thought well, I'll go check them out and you know to be honest with you for I think it was uh, 200 bucks uh, I caught it on sale had a uh, 20% off all exclusion coupon. I utilized it and I'm extremely pleased. The cabinet itself um, weighs 113 pounds, so it's nothing flimsy. Ball bearing slides, dual slides at the uh, very two bottom um, drawers there, so quite pleased with it. Uh, if you would uh, like, share, comment um, of the ins and outs, you know, what would you do different? Um, I really didn't want to put the welder underneath. I see a lot of them where the guys put their uh, 
their welder underneath and made it a workbench. Um, I was worried about sparks and stuff like that getting on the machine or especially this uh, digital readout. Uh, I was afraid of sparks getting on it and uh, uh, messing the uh, lens up on it. And I, I wasn't really too keen on that. I still might do something here to cover this up uh, just because of sparks and when I'm grinding and, and whatnot. I want to try to keep the machine as nice as possible. They're not cheap. Um, I'm hoping to have good luck with it. I graduated from a Sentry um, gas or gasless MIG welder 110. This is 110 or 220. And so I'm sure, I'm sure it is light years difference between, uh, let me see, I, that my old welder was uh, mid 90s <laughs> to now. So I'm sure I'm going to love it. Um, anybody out there with one of these uh, uh, 210 MPs out there, let me know how you like it. Uh, like I said, I'm getting ready to do a big job and um, I'll, I'll find out soon enough myself. But uh, yeah, uh, again, thanks everybody for watching. Please comment, let me know what you think. Let me know what I did wrong or what you would have added. Um, I'm up for suggestions on that. Um, give me ideas. Say, oh, well do this or do that or suggest this. More than willing to look at it and comment back to you. So there again, everybody. Have a wonderful evening. This is Big Tuna, and I'm out. Peace.